Hey Lavish fam, welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday and I am back from vacation. Ariel and I got back to the house this morning at 1.30 a.m. So, <sighs> yeah. A little, uh, I'm still a little tired, I guess, because it was a long day of travel, but we had a ball. Ariel and I had a ball together. Um, I can't really say a ball as a group because <laughs> there were really no group activities um it was 17 of us uh so anyway um but ariel and i had a ball together um if you all follow me on instagram i posted quite a bit on my stories let's just move on because i have so many things that uh i want to do today um Next Monday is my surgery, so as you know, I want to start off by, um, I think today I'm going to, let's see, I'll probably try to get my dresser done today and start on Imani's nightstands, and then I got some deliveries, of course, while I was gone, so hold please, let's see what's at the door. All right, let's see what we got here. I got another delivery from, hold on, I don't know if you can see it. Let's come a little closer. Drollery. I don't know if you all remember, but Drollery sent me that personalized necklace that had my name on it, and it was in rose gold. It's rose gold bracelet with my name on it as well. And they were ever so kind to send over another piece of jewelry let me show you what i got they're online jewelry company that's very affordable and they make custom pieces of jewelry with your name or whatever you want on them and i got this black necklace and it says lavishly nisha oh this is super cute And I also got, well, let's just put that in there. Got some earrings, some black earrings, and they have RSP, my initials on them. That's my initials, RSP. Can you see? All right, guys, so, oh, oh, please, my best friend's coming. Oh, please. All right, so, giveaway time. Instead of giving you all a discount code, Drollery have been ever so kind to do, a, like, a, a giveaway. So, all you have to do is go to their website, link is below in the description, and come back and put in the comments your favorite piece from Drollery, and they will select the winner. So all you have to do is comment below in the description box your favorite piece from Drollery. Let's see, focus, focus, focus. Hold on. And they will select from below um, a winner. So thank you again, Drollery. I absolutely love these pieces and I cannot wait to wear them. Of course, I'm not going to put them on today because I'm about to be doing some painting and some sanding so let's see what else came today even on vacation i'll be shopping so i wake up in the middle of the night i slept pretty good though and then i wake up and then i'm buying stuff also oh, these are just for the air fryer <laughs> i was out of the little um parchment papers that go in the the ninja I don't know my light is let me see let me see if I can change positions so they're just these you know I have the ninja that has the two basket the dual basket so these I ordered off of Amazon and then yes friend 
Where's your mom? Um, over there. And then these are some labels that I ordered that just have all types of like uh, minimalist laundry room linen closet cleaning supplies label set 144 black labels yeah, on white applesauce. hold please get the spoon. you already got a spoon on the table here I'm sorry y'all my best friend is um throwing out instructions here got it I'm back. But yeah, so you know I'm going to be doing the laundry room once um, I'm clear to be back on um, duty. So that's one of uh, the things I bought. And also I had needed some labels. I know what's in the soap containers down here, but people are always asking me which one is the hand soap, which one is the dish soap. So I wanted to get some labels so I can label the two jars that's in the kitchen. I'm trying to see. It's like, there we go. That's what those look like. So, there we are with that. <laughs> Some more nail stuff, because when I tell you I've been on the go, okay? These are my vacation nails. Can you see? I think I'm getting better at this. And they actually look really nice. They look a little rough now. But these are just some more brushes that I ordered. I don't know, the color is just so. There we go. I'm still trying to get used to my camera. I have been vlogging again on my phone because it's just easier for me. Um, this is a. This was the Beatles poly gel nail brush because the one that I had that came with the poly gel was just trash so I ended up buying another one and then this is just for like dec decorating your nails I ordered this as well from Amazon and it just came with different color like rhinestones and different stuff to decorate my nails I'm serious about this I'm going to be a professional pretty soon. At least I think so. As long as they look good to me, that's all that matters, right? Alright, there's a bigger box by the door. Let me see what's in it. Be right. Okay, so the other box is Amani's um, duvet insert. And I don't need that at the moment. So my plan right now is to go ahead and get the wood filler and the, uh, um, what is it? The wood filler as well as the screwdriver so I can start taking the hardware off of the dresser in the bastard bedroom because like I said, my plan today is to, I'm sorry, it's a little dark in here. My plan today is to try and get my dresser done and start on Amani's nightstands fingers crossed we'll see all right so let me get this stuff upstairs and then i'll come back okay so i'm in the master bedroom this is the dresser i'm about to take off all the hardware and then i'm going to attempt to um put wood filler in all of these little little crevices areas to try, so I can try to make the drawers flush because I don't want them to have all these little indentions if you can see what I'm talking about and I'm going to change out all of the hardware so let me get started on that so I can get my day started oh you know what I need to also put down a drop cloth let me go get one from the garage
All right, so I have all the hardware off. And I'm going to now just be using my wood filler to um, fill these areas as well as fill these existing holes because I'm going to be using bars versus um, the, uh, the knobs. So let's get started. And I'm also going to probably use some wood filler on some of the little areas that are a little dinged up from all of the moving. So that's what I'll be doing. My best friend's in here too. He's always here. My best friend? Mm-hmm. No. No, I'm not. Where you at? Right here. I will ride right away. What are you paint you painting? Mm-hmm. What are you painting? <laughs> I'm filling the holes. The holes? Let me see. You need to see? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so I have finished with my filler. I'm going to let it dry for a while, and I'm going to go out into the garage and start cutting my pieces for the two nightstands. So let's do that now. Pretty much all my pieces already cut except for two which will be like the front two pieces and I want to wait to cut those until I assemble the two nightstands um, because I'm still on a fence whether or not I'm going to put them on there but that's a long story I'll talk about that later so I'm going to go ahead and start putting these together and then um, I will uh, I guess come back and let you all see where I'm at in just a little bit so that's where we're at. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's just 2.30. So I haven't even been at this for long. I didn't get started till like noon. So, um, yeah, I'll be back. All right, guys. So it's been a while since I checked back in with you. Um, I have finished the first nightstand. I just need to, um, I think, wood. I just need to, like, uh, sand it. I need to fill it with um, wood filler in the like cracks or whatever and then um, well and sand it and then paint it but I'm trying to decide uh, let me just let you see what it looks like hold on one second hold on one second okay so this is the first night stand so yes like I was saying that I need to um, of course um, you know of course do my touch-ups and all of that like you know fill the cracks and all that and, and, and sand it I'm trying to decide on whether or not I want to put uh, a drawer or like a a drawer on the front of it um, so that she can like at least have like personal things in there or if I want to just leave it open just like this I'm gonna ask her and see what she wants to do um, I have all of the stuff to put together the second one, but I just realized I do not have any more L brackets. So, and plus I need to decide if she wants to do the front, then I will need to go and get the hinges to do that. So for tonight, I'm just going to leave this be. I'm going to go eat some lunch and then I'm going to go and start on the dresser in my bedroom. But for that, for now, this is what the nightstand is looking like. It is not finished, but it is it's getting there and I like it so so far this is what we got so I'll be back after I eat lunch okay, 
So there's a few little spots that I want to add a little more um, wood filler to just to kind of even it out. But so far it's looking really good. So I'm going to add those little pieces. Focus. I'm going to add those and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to sand again and then I can paint. So let me do that and I will come back. I'm not getting it out. Move back. I have cleaned up my mess. I have um, taken, I've cleaned up all of the dust. I changed the drop cloth so that um, I have a new one so that it's not dusty. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and start painting. The good thing is I am painting it black. It's already black so I don't have to prime it. Well, I'm not priming it <laughs> because it's already black and I'm painting it. I'm just repainting it black. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done now, um, at least get the first coat on it because it's kind of getting, I think it's probably like, it's like 7.15 at night. So, alright, so let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so first coat is drying. Um, while it dries a little bit, I'm going to go and empty out my suitcase from yesterday and do a little bit of laundry. And then I will come back and check it out in a bit and then put on coat number two. All right, so I just got a delivery <laughs> from Amazon. You're probably thinking she always got a delivery. But so on the chase, I have been... Um, taking little power naps over here and I realized that I needed some more pillows um, so I ordered some while I was on vacation from Amazon let's see hold oh, please so I ended up getting two 18 by 18s that were like they were on sale for um, I want to say 20 bucks so they come they're really really good reviews too so they come back you feel like I said they had really really good reviews Cause that's always I always go to look. I say you need to let them completely, you know. Fluff out. Oh 
or whatever. And they are, um, I want to say feathers, 99% feathers and 1% down filling. And then I ordered these um, pillowcases that are black, white, and gray. For a set of two, they were $12.99. And I got these in a size 20. So this is what they look like. And I figured they would tie into the decor of the room pretty well. So I went a size up because, of course, that's, you know, pretty much what... You always hear people recommend it to go a size up. So let's see what they look like. So it says it takes a little while for them to fully inflate, but we'll see. We'll see if I like them. We'll see. I'm not sending them back. I mean, if anything, I will buy more um, covers, but I'm not going to send them back because they were $12.99. And it's not like I spent, you know, a whole lot of money. I suppose I had another something in here. Maybe it's in the mailbox. I don't see it. So. So that's what they look like. Let me fix them over here and I'll show you guys what it looked like. Let me. Okay, so ignore that TV. <laughs> uh, it's leaving out of here. But I feel like I need another pillow. I feel like I need three. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to order another one. Yeah, I feel like I need three. I just feel like that's not enough. Alright guys, so I put on the second coat and I got busy doing something else. Um, and it's just kind of drying right now. So that's what it looks like. Um... It's almost 9 o'clock, so I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. I, my plan was to wrap it up at 8 o'clock, but like I said, I got busy doing other things. So I'm going to wrap it up for tonight, and then tomorrow I'll check and see if there's any um, touching up that needs to be done. If not, then I'll go ahead and put on my poly coat, let it dry, put on the hardware, and then I will finish this room. Well, somewhat finish it up. I did go ahead and also order more pillows and um, more um, pillow covers for the chase because like I said those two just wasn't enough so they should be here Wednesday and I think that's it for tonight so I will see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it's the next day it is Tuesday and <laughs> it's like almost six o'clock at night um, I had a really busy day, so I am just now getting back around to um, this dresser situation. Um, I went to Lowe's though while I was out, and I got the rest of the things that I needed to finish the nightstands. So what I'm going to do now is um, put the poly coat on the dresser. While it's drying, I think I'm going to go back to the garage and probably finish up the last little pieces and things that I need on the nightstand yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do so let me show you what the nightstand is looking like right now not the nightstand sorry the dresser is looking like right now without the poly um, poly coat yeah let me do that and I'll show you what it's looking like right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on so I can move on to something else alright so let me show you Alright, so that's what it looks like right now. Okay. 
I just feel like the camera just doesn't give it the justice that it deserves because it looks really good. So, anyway, let me go ahead and put that on so I can uh, keep moving. And, uh, yeah, because, uh, <laughs> like I said, it's almost 6 o'clock. All right. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, and um, <clears throat> baby, I didn't do nothing yesterday. After I came home, I had been gone from like 8 to 5. So when I came home, I did actually poly that dresser, and then that was it. I think I took a shower and ate dinner, and I went to bed. So today, the plan is to um, put the hardware on the dresser and finish those nightstands. Um, I have another long day tomorrow, so I'm not planning to work late today. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, I think that's it for today. I don't know, we'll see because I also want to, <laughs> I want to uh, paint Amani's accent wall today, but I don't know because like I said, I do not plan to work late today. I plan to only work to maybe like five, and it's like, it's 8 a.m. now, so. Um, I had ordered this hardware, like um, drawer hardware kit from Amazon a while ago. So I need to remember, see if I remember how Amazon said I need to use it. But if not, I'm going to go back to Amazon for a tutorial before I attempt to use it. And I think that might be it for today. Yeah, oh, so I didn't really say a whole lot about my trip, but I'll just say this, that like I said in the beginning, Ariel and I had an amazing, amazing, amazing time. Like I cannot wait to go back to this resort. We've already started talking about going next year for Dante's retirement um, because it was just all that and some. The food was good. It was so many things to do. It was just like the service was just top notch. However, comma. I'm going to just say, this was not the girl's trip for me, um, for us. Uh, we've been on girl's trips before, and usually girl's trips mean you do things as, as a group. Um, there's somewhat of a, maybe a rough itinerary or some things that are planned for the group. This was more so like an event where you just happen to be somewhere and you see someone you know and you stop and say hey y'all may have a cup of coffee once or maybe something or maybe nothing or maybe wave and keep going that's exactly how this trip went they the the host had five people out of about 17 that she dealt with and the rest of us was like not us I, I don't hold my tongue. I'm not going to sugarcoat for somebody. That's exactly how it went. We only had two events that was planned. Two. And that was, was two, uh, a cocktail hour and a pink dinner. That's it. Nothing else. There was no nothing. And when they did make them people be asking like, well, what, what will we do for dinner? What are we going to do? One night she was like, I think somebody else was the one of the five people that she was with was like, we at Walmart, we'll let y'all know in 10 minutes. We'll let y'all know. We'll let y'all know when we come back. Not we're a group. Let's decide together. We'll let y'all know. And then when they came back, we headed to this place. Be there in 10 minutes. Ain't nobody dressed. You ain't said nothing. We didn't even know y'all was back. So, of course, me and Ariel didn't go because we were not ready. But anyway, like I said, Amazing trip for me and Ariel. We had a great time together. It just was not the girl's trip for us because we're used to not saying that you have to be with that person from sun up to sun down. But communication is key. And if you're planning a girl's trip or you're planning some form of a trip with other people, it's just the courteous to at least 
spend some time with them or do some type of an activity. And if you say you're going to be somewhere at 10 a.m. or we're going to do something at 10 a.m., you don't text the group at 9.57 and say, we're not coming, we're going to stay, uh, the, 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 fat, the Fab Five is going to stay here at the hotel and hang at the pool. Y'all have a good day. 9.57. That's just not what you do. Or you don't say, at 9 o'clock, we're going to go to this park. Oh, we decided to order room service. We'll, we're going to go at 10. We're going to now go at 11. We'll meet y'all at 11. And then when people are asking questions, you just don't reply at all. That's just not what you do. But anyway, long story short, it is what it is. I'm glad I was able to get in a vacation before surgery on Monday. <clears throat> I'm going to have some breakfast and then I'm going to go ahead and get started with my day because it is what it is. Baby, I got things to do. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in just a minute. I'm going to, like I said, go ahead and eat something so I can go ahead and get started. All right. <clears throat> so this is what the kit looks like. Comes with all these pieces. But for some reason, Amazon stuff don't ever come with no instructions so I gotta go to Amazon and hopefully there's a video so so it comes with all of this stuff Y'all know I ain't good with reading instructions anyway, following directions. So, I guess that wouldn't have probably helped it anyway. But it comes with three different bit sizes for drilling, depending on what size uh, nail you have, I guess. That's a good thing. I don't have to figure it out. And then it comes with this little thing. I guess this is the mark. Oh, it is. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let me go find this item in my orders on Amazon and then uh, and figure out how to use it because that's exciting. I'll be back. This is taking much longer than I thought. Problem being is I thought <laughs> I ordered 10 inch pulls. But apparently, I must have ordered 12 by 3 fifths. Or either that's what they sent. I don't think I ordered them that big. But either way, I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to make it work. They're not too long. It's just the fact that I didn't know that's what I ordered. So, I had to figure it out. I had to do some math. Because um, I was like, this don't work. But let's see if I can figure out how to put these things on now. And I, uh, hope please. Okay, so first one is on there. Ignore the dust. Um, focus. But yeah, so ignore the dust. I'll clean that up in a bit. But it's on. Nice and sturdy. So let me try to get through the rest of these. And so I can clean up. Okay, y'all, so draw pools are on. That's what we're looking like. I am going to now <laughs> attempt to move the dresser back into um, where it goes, move this stuff, clean up the space, dust, get all this dust off of it, and be done with this so I can move on to the garage, and I'll show you all what it looks like in just a second. So let me... um. Let me set y'all up on something else. Hold, please.
Hey guys, so as I was sitting there editing the vlog for tonight, um, <laughs> it got towards the end and realized as I was trying to download it uh, that some of my clips did not um, download completely for some reason. They were interrupted and then I had to do a whole lot of like configuring and try to figure out what happened. Long story short, the ending of my vlog did not download. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what you missed, which was me finishing the nightstands. So let's just go to the garage. I'm going to show you what they look like right now. So we'll go out there. It's a little dark, but I'll just show you what they look like. I did put them, finish putting them together. Hope. Oh, let me turn you around. Okay, so these are the nightstands. Um, they do have the drawer on the front that opens out. I have to put hardware on them. I still need to sand them and paint them, which will not happen tonight because I have a full day. I have somewhere to go tomorrow from eight to five, but that's pretty much done for now. I did caulk them. Everything is done. I just need to basically, um, like I said, paint, paint and, um, well, sand and paint them. Um, I will be starting on Amani's bedroom on Friday. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go back in the house and I'm going to talk to you and tell you what else you missed. So, hold please. Okay, so while I tell you what else I had said. So, I did not vlog. I started to vlog while I was on vacation. I think I vlogged like the first day and then after that I didn't. But aerial vlogs and if you're interested in seeing what we did on vacation um, I will link all of that below um, I will link her page and her stuff below and you can see it from there also if you're interested in the yeah this is the Amazon delivery <laughs> um, it's just more of these pillows that I told you I was going to be getting they just happen to come while we were while I was editing but anyway if you're interested in being entered into that drawing for drawlery all you have to do is be subscribed like this video and comment down below which piece of jewelry that you will like from their website and you will be automatically entered into the drawing so give me just a second let me put these pillows together and I'll show you what it looks like. Hold please. All right, guys. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I lost some footage, but it was just basically me in the um, shop doing some cuts and putting the end of the night um, those night um, stands together. Um, so I will see you guys on Sunday. Hopefully, by then we'll be completely. Well, I'm not gonna say hopefully. We're gonna be done with the Monty's room and 
yeah and then surgery is on monday so i'll see you guys on sunday bye